Hi everybody, we're going to do 789 divided by six. You can follow along with a piece of paper or with these worksheets. And we're practicing using the standard algorithm. So we do divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Does McDonald's sell burgers? And this is our dividend, 789. It's the number that's getting divided up. So this is the amount of like apples or cupcakes or whatever. And then this is the amount of groups that it's being put into. All right, step one is to divide. Um, and we're going to be using sixes. So I do like to skip count my sixes first, just so that I have those ready to go. Division and multiplication work together. So if I ask you to divide by sixes, you're also just saying, how many times can I skip count my six to hit that? So seven divided by six, or how many times can six fit into seven without going over it? So just one time, put the one up here. All of our division goes on the top. Multiply that right back. So one times six is six. Now we're going to subtract seven minus six. Now we're going to bring down the next digit because we used the seven. We have some left over, we'll keep it, but we're gonna go ahead and bring our next digit down, which is an eight. Now we're ready to divide again. So we're going to do 18 divided by six. So how many times can six go into 18 without going over? One, two, three times. Put the three up top, then multiply it right back. Three times six is 18. The next step is to subtract. 18 minus 18 is zero. The next step is to bring down, bring down the nine. Okay. Now we're ready to divide again. Think about what we're dividing here. We're dividing nine by six. In other words, how many sixes can fit into nine without going over just one time? Where does the one go? It goes on top. Think about what you're going to do next. One times six is six. Think about the next step. Nine minus six is three. Is there anything left to bring down? No, there isn't. Is there anything left over? Yes, there is. There's a three left over. Think about where that goes. The three goes up here in the remainder box. So 789, you can't actually equally divide it by six. You can put it into six groups and you'll have 131 in each group, but then there'll be three left over that you can't divide up. So 789 divided by six is 131 remainder three.